it's nice to see everyone here looking sharp. Um, I think I'm used to tumezoea kuonana kuongoza kazi, but it's nice to see everyone here looking sharp. Uh, a guest of honor, um, CS Tourism, Wildlife and Heritage, Honorable Penina Malonza, who is ably here represented by the PS, Ms. Sylvia Museya, um, Chairman, Parliament, Parliamentary Committee for Sports, Mr. Dan Wanyama, Founder Soya, Dr. Paul Tergat, um, all the athletes in here, all protocols observed, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I mean, it's an absolute pleasure to be here today. Um, I'm really humble and honored to be standing here as the celebrity guest. Um, it just shows how I think full circle I have come at these awards. I've been here as a guest, I've been here as a nominee, I've been here as a runner-up, and I've been here as a winner as well. And today I come back as a, as a celebrity guest. Who knows, maybe next awards I might be standing here as the CS Sports in Kenya. <laughs> I think to begin with, I would like to thank the Sawyer founder, Dr. Paul Tergat and his team for what they are doing for sports in the country. I think the recognition of sportsmen and women is a very big gesture to the sporting fraternity. It really mean, means a lot to us as uh, sportsmen and women. It just shows that our efforts have been recognized, our efforts have been noticed, and uh, it just shows people are, are watching and are appreciating our trade, which gives us more morale, more energy, in terms of trying to get better and better each and every single day we step onto the field or we go for training. I think in Swahili there's a saying that says Mchazakwa Utunzu and I think the Soya team is really doing a great job in that. But I think, I still think there's more to be done. Um, since I see representative of the government here, I think I'll address this. I think uh, as the government, I think we can step up these efforts of trying to recognize the athletes. I know uh, we are used to the normal baasha, which by the way is very important, tunapenda yo baasha. But uh, I think uh, other gestures, for example, I'm looking forward to a day, I might be walking down the streets here in town, I'm walking through LED Kipchoge streets, I cross over Naingia Helen Obiri Avenue. Eh? As I'm walking there, Nikichoka, Nakakwa Bench, Imandikwa Commission by Colin Sinjera. I mean, you only mingi kuuliza kweli. But I think also to the various sporting bodies and various sporting um, fraternities, I think it's nice to honor athletes and just to recognize them. I think we can do, still do a lot in terms of at the union level because not all athletes who are doing a great job uh, actually get to make it to the final um, nominees list. So I think the various sporting bodies that are here, we can be doing such in our, in our union level. And I think as I wind up, um, just like to speak to the athletes. I know we all love competing, we all love winning, but I think um, because that's how we are judged. I mean, our, our, our job is a performance-based job. If you don't perform, you won't, be <laughs> you won't be judged properly. So I think as we all try to dominate and become victorious in our various fields, I think let's endeavor to play fair because there's no greater feeling than knowing that you did your best, honest, hard work at the end of it all. Let's take care of our bodies because we shall need them when you're done playing. Let's stay away from the performance enhancing substances, which is very important. As we are, being, we are all being looked at by that young kid who is looking at you, wanting to be where you are at the moment. So please, let's not kill that young kid's dream. As I wound up, I think it's remember to, it's, let's remember, it's better to fall short by doing the right thing rather than succeeding in doing the wrong thing. Thank you very much. Wonderful.